Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now, you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And... What have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? What is it, Charlie? Find something? This looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do, but it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. Is it? 
There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> Charlie? The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. They cannot possibly match your strength. You were too weak for this fight. Was something. I am impressed. Your fate is sealed. Your mother abandoned. Feel my call. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. They're hesitant to strike. They certainly won't. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Once again, the lift servants fall. You can imagine why Sarah was so fond of Ashtor. If I didn't know better, I would say she modeled her role as caretaker after the goddess herself. Leave some for the rest of us. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finish this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting.
looks like a be wary of this place but it's your birthright and i think after everything you've been through you can handle it now the two of you as well as your mother are the last of your kind the blood your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves and if you call upon them you might just find they're actually listening they won't work miracles for you but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Oshter guides my head. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. And now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. We still have so many more movies to show you, like, like 70s grindhouse flicks. See, Hunter, you're so much more than a weapon. You're fun. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. More doesn't mean better. If they want to be part of the team, they'll have to earn it. Hey, look who's awake! I've been meaning to ask, food must be completely different. Now it's all pre-packaged and preserved. Are there any meals you missed from 300 years ago? Agatha made a pumpkin stew. I can still remember the taste. With a dash of cinnamon? Oh, I love that. I wonder if she wrote down the recipe. Ugh, now I'm getting hungry. Yeah, let's wrap this up and raid the kitchen before Doctor Strange heats up his funky smelling leftovers. I won't forget it. Our moonscapes look nothing alike.
those colors before they were cool. So. Feeling all right? Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks, the mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers. I should come back at night. That is usually how these things work. Guess I can put away the garlic. Won't do much good against Hydra. What's shaking? Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you, I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. What have you got for me, boss? Take a look. What do you think? See you, Hunter. Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off in our hands. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the Arcane might be a problem. 
But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. Oh, and I was just about to binge watch my stories. If it... I'm not expecting anything from you, this one. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. The place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. It's not entirely worthless, just not especially valuable either. found that area of research interesting. Hey Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? Moving to the Forge, Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The Forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first Spirit of Vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my Spirit of Vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with, like, 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa.
It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Spirits of vengeance train the hardest! Let's do this. Maybe you should be the speech. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. Got a minute, Hunter. Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble, Apocalypse prophecies, the Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus, the way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb, unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, she is quite the Marvel. I see what you did there, and you're not wrong. Never met a gal who could throw me into the sun before. She is a formidable ally in our struggle against Lilith. Hell yeah, she is. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes, no. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say? You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now.
There are cracks in this wall. She does not see it happening. The goddess disagrees.
Oster smiles upon me. Interesting. What is this? I was always drawn to this place as a child, but somehow I had almost forgotten about it. Intriguing. This rubble looks loose. The gods are fickle. Was I ever really this innocent? Maybe before I started my training. This is which sign? Blessings of the Goddess.
The standing stones. There is powerful magic at work here. My old fort. Caretaker was furious when she found I had built this. I wonder what she was really afraid of. I never got the chance to truly know my mother. Only the monster she became. to find the next moon seal. Seer known as Endra Moore is buried here. Much like Nico, her powers came dangerously close to crossing the line, but she was among the most loyal of the Midnight Suns. Perhaps a witch from the Salem Coven made this. That is... something.
Can I help you? There is my ferocious Charlie girl. Rising rings of oh, it's just here. You used to be a surgeon. Yes, what seems like long ago. Do you miss it? No. You are not usually so brief. Stephen Strange, the surgeon, was a very different person. Selfish, vain, and prone to grandiose delusions of grandeur. What could cause you so much shame? I cared more for personal status than my patients. Most of those were wealthier clients who could afford the procedures. I, I did no harm, mind you, but for all my talent, I can't say I did much good. Let's endeavor to meet again soon. Mine was magic, but not the way you're thinking. Our time together is always illuminating, Hunter. I should be training. You need to go? No, I'm just not the kind of person who takes a lot of breaks. If you never rest, you will never recover. Yeah, I know. Muscles don't get thicker if you work them every day. But if I'm not training, I'll lose my edge. A guy named Blade is worried about losing his edge? Shut up. And you're the third person to tell me that, so don't look so impressed. There better be a next time. So I'm back. That was cool. We better get back to stopping the prophecy now. Hey. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission, she said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian, and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. And I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter.
Heads up, Hunter. Not much more I can tell you, Hunter. Though I did hear her mutter something about Wanda right before she poofed away. Maybe that helps. Thanks, Captain. I shall find her. If you've come to ask me where magic is, the answer is, I don't know. She doesn't talk to me very much anymore. She blames me for Wanda. I fear if she doesn't let her go, it will cost us all. Go find her and talk some sense into her, will you? We don't have much time. I usually just wing it out there. Robbie, have you seen magic? No, but there were some pretty crazy energy flashes coming from the dorms a few minutes ago. It usually means she wants to be left alone. Trust me on that. Thanks, Robbie. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. It is never easy to lose a comrade. I know this too well. We did not lose Wanda. We let her go. Before any of this started. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. No good ever comes from a book like that. Trust me. Funny. You sound like Wanda. She was also afraid of her power. I can almost hear her scolding me for invading her privacy. But I've done far worse than to rummage through someone else's things. Far worse. And so have you. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. 
I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay. I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. That looks good. It's good to have you around again. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? I did the math. It would actually be faster for me to fly. So what is stopping you? The shockwave would shatter most of the glass in my approach path. Ah, that is not good. Yeah, I try to be considerate. Judgment is on its way. Sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there.
Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single world-ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it. Stop for ourselves. Whatever gets the job done. Fate is sealed. Tail back. for this. Reinforcements inbound. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor, so narrowly escaped within our last encounter, was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus, and I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. to win today. Stop that chopper, please. With that should keep them grounded. Now let's get everything back to the Abbey for analysis. Such arrogance. Our brave soldiers will never allow you. Oh, shut up already. Take them down. Servants of women. Interesting. This is a serious predicament for you. Hell, Hydra! I've been waiting for this! Aren't the simple punching bags you've come to expect, are they? 
Somehow these humans, these fear mortals, dare to stand against ye fierce gods. All is possible with mother! We don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. Fine, speak. Feeling a chill, magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky, trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. 
Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the transdimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. We should inform the others of any potential danger. Warn them of what? One of Magic's airy-fairy gut feelings? The Avengers are already unsure of us. I do not need to add to that. Best not to say anything until I am better able to articulate it. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do. While I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo, I will let you know if I do.